good old caravans, eh? Fantastic little bit of road coming off the edge of some moorland. Not knowing the road, I didn't know I needed to get by this guy before the uh, twisty bit. Beautiful views though. So the um, GS is pretty much fully loaded. I don't know why I brought so much spare clothes, spare waterproofs, jumpers, cameras, toothbrush. Somehow it's filled two panniers and um, a top box completely. However, once uh, above about two or three miles an hour, it's uh, all good. And, uh, uh, lots of power to get by, so that's cool. That's better. Now we can enjoy these beautiful roads without uh, having to look at a big white brick. I'm not really complaining at caravan owners. <coughs> but I've never had one myself. Nice to um, not know what Ben's coming next and what's going around the next what's the next delight on such a road once you've driven a road before one always remembers much of what's coming up the challenge of driving or riding or driving a new road is uh, is great a bit more concentration, which is not a bad thing, really. Look at that lovely view. Fantastic. Sheep, a few dry stone walls, still quite a few hedgerows, so not quite like the Yorkshire Dales in that respect. Occasional dry stone wall, but uh, mostly hedgerows. Hamilton District. Mm, something dizzy going on here. Country fair of some sort, maybe. Very nice. It certainly is um beautiful ride. I think the uh, angry sky adds to the beauty. Another um, little village. There we are. A real ale establishment. Open. Sort of a one-sided village. Just one side of a road. Interesting. The other side, just yeah, just a sort of slope down. It's a sort of a hillside village with uh, with a road. Oh, there are some houses that side now. And this one with the ivy, not ivy. Is it? I don't know. With the creeper. Beautiful colours. According to the um, sat-nav, I've got uh, about six miles left on the wolds. 
and then I shall be a place called Stokesley. At that point, I will see what my next destination should be. Pop that in the sat nav. Um, as it's a bit I'm not so familiar with. Probably be going along some rather dull roads for a, uh, maybe an hour or so and then uh, get videoing again once on the Pennines the backbone of Britain well everybody I'm up in um, I think Northumbria now or maybe it's still County Durham goodness knows what county I'm in but see a68 the back of the Pennines and it's pretty bleak that's for sure not a lot up here wind turbines sheep and some big tarmac big views that's a serious view over there Again, absolutely brilliant tarmac. Makes for a uh, most enjoyable riding. Cattle. Oh, look at that. Spoke too soon. Tarmac goes from amazing to, uh, well, probably to the same quality as East Anglia. Totally rubbish. Good afternoon. Right, let's see what we can do up here. Look at this hidden place. I'm still looking for somewhere for a cup of tea, but I don't really want to be going to a pub. A cup of tea and a chocolate bar. Maybe when I uh, top the tank with petrol. Oh look! Castle ruin. Fantastic. I shall have to look at the map and see what that castle is later. is beautiful. Look at this. Fantastic road. Past the camper. The A68 seems to be pretty, well, up and down like a roller coaster in places and very straight so I'm wondering if some parts are Roman occasional bend and curve but then it goes very straight again this village is West Woodburn sunshine Pretty unspoilt. The River Reed. Post office, pub. That's your lot. Let me climb back up. Sky. Oh, another roller coaster stretch. There we go. Here's one 
has to um, keep slowing down for the crests, just in case something's hidden, junction, tractor, whatever. Right, we're okay. A beautiful afternoon. Just finished a, uh, a nice cup of tea and a piece of cake at the last cafe in England. HGV and motorbikes welcome. Well, we're actually smack bang in the middle of the Northumberland National Park as well. So that was a welcome break and relaxing stop. Here we go again, towards Jedbra. The weather continues to stay pretty much perfect for the motorcycle. Down there is um, seems at the Northumberland National Park and this high borderland of Northumberland is fly ridden. I think to clean the GoPro. Quite, you know, quite a few fly stuff on it. And my visor. Well, cleaned it quite a few times now. Oh well, we shall enjoy regardless.